If you're taking off this morning, you're going to want to know what it looks like outside, That's right? That's right. Let's head over to Juan, who has a better look at the forecast. And you say you may want to pack the umbrella, Juan. Just pack the umbrella. At least throw it in the back seat, throw it in the trunk, and have it with you if you're going to be uh, doing any type of errands for today or if you have any outdoor activities planned. Because the rainfall opportunity, even though it's not as spectacular for us here, not going to be widespread, uh, at least just yet. That's going to happen as we head into Friday and Saturday. It may be a good idea just to hold on, especially if you're going to be uh, the, having those outdoor activities plan. Our water temperature out at Packery Channel has warmed up to 83 degrees and as we take a look at temperatures elsewhere across the region, we're at 77 here in Corpus Christi, 81 over in Ropstown, but ranging to 73 off in Falfurias. It was not too long ago when these temperatures were into the 50s and 60s and it was uh, quite dry and quite nice outdoors with cool starts, but the humidity has certainly invaded uh, South Texas once again and each day as we head throughout the rest of the week, even on into the weekend, we'll hold on to at least isolated to scattered opportunities opportunities for us, uh, showers and storms across the region and again more so as we head to the Friday Saturday time frame. Now the uh, storm prediction center is monitoring this pretty closely. The good news is that any type of showers and storms that do develop, we're not expecting anything too severe out there. This is the uh, severe outlook for today and it's just a general risk of some thunderstorm activity and we move this forward here day two on Wednesday. We still have just a general risk of thunderstorms and even as we head towards day three, uh, still holding on to that general risk so we don't have a marginal slide or even an enhanced to moderate risk of some severe weather, which usually comes with damaging winds, large hail, or even some tornadic activity. We could still see some pretty gusty winds and some uh, uh, hefty rainfall totals across the area, but again, staying under those severe limits. But of course, we'll continue to monitor things very closely for you. So the weather story is that the rain chances will continue to be increasing here in South Texas. And all this is because of a disturbance off to the west of us. In fact, there's a couple of them. There's two of them that will eventually swing into the northern parts of the Lone Star State. And as they do so, they grab a lot of that moisture off the Gulf of Mexico, and that results in that rainfall. And again, some of it could be on the locally heavy side. I think some locations could easily pick up one to three inches of some rainfall, and they'll come in waves. We'll have uh, these patterns that will come in uh, from the west, and uh, we'll have to watch those pretty closly. And it'll start to be breezy as well. We'll see those southeasterly winds, 10 to 20 boaters and mariners uh, take note of that. That. And the tropics are quiet, at least for the Gulf of Mexico. We still have Hurricane Sam that's spinning off in the Atlantic and pretty powerful category four storm, but not a threat to the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean for that matter. So here's the hourly forecast for today. Southeasterly winds at 10 to 20 will still top off in the lower 90s. Again, that opportunity for a couple of those isolated showers and storms are going to be out there. If you find yourself under one of those showers and storms, just use caution and slow down. There's that wind throughout the rest of the week, at least that having that southeasterly component at 10 to 20. And there's the first disturbance moving up to the north. That's going to draw isolated showers and storms. And as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and off towards the end of the week, another disturbance off to the west will move even closer. And that's what's going to increase the opportunity for more scattered to numerous showers on Friday and Saturday. But showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, on into the weekend as well, with highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Paulo. All right. Thank you, Juan.